watching Channel B. I'm Ruby here, and today, if you ever seen my title, you know today I'm actually doing a review for my Fendi bag. Guess um today it would not be an unboxing. Reason being is that I really have this this awesome bag for a period of time already. And today it's more of a review as well as like uh, getting into detail about this uh, Fendi Micro Dava Baguette bag. Alright, so let's start. So as you can see, this is actually uh, black in color. So uh, I know for this uh, design, they do have like uh, each side of a different color, but I personally uh, glad that I got it black and I will get into it why I was glad that I got it in black Okay, so anyway, it's totally black for both front as, as well as the back part Yeah, so um, the hardware is silver as you could see and the sort of silver that uh, this bag had is actually the shiny silver Some some des designer handbags, they does have like matte silver hardware and all this I'm glad this is actually a uh, metallic, uh, bright silver, shiny ones. So it's, it's pretty much good. Reason being, I could basically match with any outfit that I have. Even today, the casual outfit that I'm wearing. Uh, to me, I consider this as a fun. And this is more of the casual ones. Yep, okay, right? And this casual ones, for majority of the bag, they do have the side, okay, like this this part of it, and and the other side is it depends on the seasons and what they will be actually coming up with. So uh, for the basic ones, as you could see, they have their brand logo, a simple uh, hot stamp on it, and that's all. And it has a really um, comfortable length in terms of the uh, area over here, the top handle. Yeah, it's quite a good hole sufficient space for you to use it and some of them you could use it as a clutch and why is it you could use this as a clutch because this is actually removable yeah this is removable and yeah could you see so all you need to do is just pluck up this and they will have a d-ring over here and that's it so as you know that now the the cross body strap is actually removable you could actually uh, change it into some other stripe but do do know that um, the D-ring is only very small so you have to make sure the area that hook into the D-ring is pretty small before you could change into it so I guess you could change into other uh, slimmer sling body stripe if you want to change around yeah but honestly I think their, their sling body stripe is already very comfortable um, just in case if you want to change but the option is still it are uh, available for you yeah so and on the d-ring it actually has a uh, logos on it the double fendi logos yeah so it's really nice they still have like details on the d-ring as well so at the front uh, i consider this as front and this as back because it's really simple and i like that they have some design for the side so i call it front so they have their classic um fendi logo for the opening for this and the design this is I think is more of the focus quick borders around it so if you and do like this design but you do not like it on this bag I know that they do have another Fendi bag which actually have this design as well which is called the um, Fendi.com tote so if you're interested you could check it out but I would actually place an image over here as well so it will be easier for you to figure out what I'm actually talking about yeah so what I like about this bag is that even you might not have anything in it but it holds its shape really really well see so this is actually an empty bag but the shape is really well well maintained you don't have to do much about it but of course as usual for all my bags I actually have the you could actually buy to purchase the uh, back speed loads or I would for myself I don't really purchase the back speed loads I'll just use the original stuffing that it comes with and place it within to keep it in shape yeah so uh, other than keeping the stuffing in shape I will make sure that I have the back dust back over it just to prevent stains and, and dirt or dust on it and yep yeah. 
let's go into detail on this bag shall we? Uh, this bag for both sides is actually using the snap buttons so you could easily open I mean, um, what do you have fear about the snap button? It's not really easy to close. I mean, yes, you have the snap button. It's like it will, it will just like the magnetic will just close it like this. But it's not exactly at the right point. I'm not sure you get me. So sometimes you will still have to adjust the top part and all this just to make sure the snap button um just click onto each other properly. You see, so it's a little troublesome. Uh, but overall, I, I do not have major issue with it, but slight troublesome. So the inner part of this bag is actually in velvet. I'm not sure is it real leather velvet or polyester velvet, but it's really smooth and I love it a lot. Yeah, and I'm glad it's black. So even for this and all this, it's not obvious. And the sticker is still on, so you could see that uh, I, I don't really use it, you see. Yeah use it much i have it for a couple of months now but i've definitely used it less than 10 times so yeah okay so for this side with the quick uh border around it um there is actually uh only two compartments a divider in between could you see it a divider in between and that's it so uh for this side uh, what do I normally place will be my earpiece as well as my iPhone. Uh, yes, currently I'm actually using iPhone 10. Yeah, iPhone X, you could call it iPhone 10, iPhone X, whatever you like. So uh, my phone could be placed into it and there is still space on, um, at the top or bottom of it after I place my phone within. So uh, I have no issue and if you're using iPhone 10, not a problem. Uh, currently, I have not tried using iPhone Plus size, uh, so I'm not sure whether could it fit into it. So maybe I'll try it using my mom's phone, and probably I could just review it at the bottom lines if it's possible. It's still spacious, and sometimes I would actually even put my lipstick over here. All right, and the other side. So after you open up, the interior is velvet, like what you could see okay and i've not removed this sticker yet and this actually has uh, a divider same as the other side but but additionally more they actually have a uh, two cut holder area over here could you see i'll show you just using some name card that i've received i'll place it in it's still quite spacious um, for this bag because it's pretty small I can't be using my normal uh, wallet Tooth. cut holder is actually not sufficient for daily needs so for me I am using my YSL cut, uh, cut wallet pouch yes so uh, if you're interested to know more about this um, wallet that I'm using I've actually reviewed it in some of my previous video so I'll put the link up here so you could check it out so the wallet, when I place it in, it's still spacious. So far, I have not used the card compartments that comes with this bag. And if I use it, most probably because I receive like some contacts cards from my clients. But otherwise, I, I don't really use it. And the YSL um, card wallet is already good enough. And for me personally, two, four, five, five of it is, is really good enough. And I do, definitely I do have more than five cards, but I always select the priority cards that I use most of the time. As well as for my credit cards, I, I will just focus on one or two cards so that I will not miss out to pay my, my credit card bills, you see? Yep, so that's it for the compartment interior. So, um, personally, do you, if you ask me, do I like this bag? Yes. I, I really love this bag. It's really beautiful, it's, it's fashionable, it can match with any sort of outfit you have. It looks formal because of the colors and depending on the set you want to use. And, and it doesn't give you a feeling as though you're repeating your bag because you could use any side of it to match any of your outfit. But however, I don't really like this, this, this leather. It's definitely smooth, comfortable, 100% calfskin. 
but it gets scratch marks easily. So I'm not sure if you could see from the videos over here. Yep. Even though I've been taking really good care of it, like decent care of it, but whenever I open and all this, there might be some marks and scratches on it. But if it's not a concern for you, yeah, it's fine. But otherwise, for me, I, I feel sad whenever something happens to my baby. But that this bag, I think it's considered light because of the size. So just in case you're interested to know about the dimension, I will indicate at the bottom of my video as like what I normally do. So, um, yeah, that's all on the interior. This bag is really small. There isn't much I could talk about, right? But let's look at the the underneath of this double bag, micro double baguette bag. So this is how the interior look like. Yeah. So there is the joint line in between. Yeah. So it's not fully one piece of leather if you thought so, but they they still have joint line on here so that it could. Because if you're using one whole piece of leather, I guess the shape over here would not be that nice. So when they have this joint line, it somehow creates um, a shape in between. You can see over here? Yeah, and allow it to stand properly and nicely. <laughs> As for the stripe, right? Um, because this bag is actually very light, uh, it's not the bag is light because the compartment and the overall size is pretty small so there isn't much things you could put in so even after you place everything into this bag it's still very light yeah because they restrain you from putting even more things in it yeah so um, as for the stripe the sling body stripe I personally think it's still a little long for me when I put it over the shoulder Yes, it's still a little long for me, but when I use it as a crossbody bag, it's perfectly fine. So shortly, I will do a modeling videos on, on this bag, so you can use this as an example. Uh, in case you've forgotten, I'm actually standing at 160 cm. So let's check out my modeling video, shall we? So like what I mentioned earlier, over the shoulder wise, I think it's still a little too long for me. I love it, holding it using the top handle. And I have totally no problem as a sling body bag. I'll be showing you how it looks with my iPhone 10, And it's still pretty spacious, but however for iPhone plus size, it will be pretty tight when I place it in. That's all for today. I hope you like my review on my Fendi bag. And if you have any feedback or anything that you like to ask, please drop a comment below. And if you like my videos, please put a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And that's it for today. Bye-bye!